guys, it's Lisa. Today I have not quite as many things to share with you as usual, but you guys know in the summer and the wind, it is, it's like knocking over our rocking chairs. John said that yes, there is a cushion now run, going down the street. Evidently, we're getting the cold front storm that's in like Nashville now, and tomorrow the high is 30. So it's you'll hear the wind blowing. This foundation, it's the uh, Anastasia Luminous Foundation. I love this. I really loved it in the summer, kind of like towards the end of summer. I found it in my stash and I just fell in love with it. And it was uh, this one, 315N. So what would you think you would do? You would think that you would go from 315N to 260N. Look how much darker 260 is than the three, whatever, 315. So that is what I have on today, the darker one. It was so much too dark that I don't have on any bronzer at all, any bronzer, any contour. I had to kind of reverse contour with my concealer. So if it's a little orange or something, it's because I just, I kept thinking, okay, no, this isn't that bad. This isn't that bad. And it just kind of went from there. That is what I did. Well, I was in the store the other day because I actually ordered the 260N and I was looking at all of the bottles. And honestly, the one that looked like it was the most me is this one. And guess what the shade is? 300C, cool tone. And I wore this maybe yesterday or the day before yesterday, and I actually really liked it. But I guess it was in my head that it was cool tone and that maybe it didn't look good because sometimes I can't tell until I'm on video how something really looks to other people. And so uh, the saga continues, but we definitely know that 260N is not for me. If you wear that and you're my shade, please tell me what shade you wear. Okay, now let's get into what I bought this week. I had something I really wanted to be delivered by today. Maybe by the end of this video, it will be here. I was just looking to make sure my mic was still on. You guys, there's so many things on YouTube that you don't know that can happen that is just a disaster. Okay, so let's start with this. I love my brow pencil, the Anastasia one, the one that's kind of slanted. I think it's called a brow shaper. I'm not sure of the exact name of it, but I love the medium brown shade so much. I decided to try the other forms. So I got the Brow Wiz in medium brown, and then I got the just classic brow pencil, kind of like uh, Lancome would be. And so yesterday I used the Brow Wiz and today I use this one. I love them both. Both of these are a winner. The reason I you know, wanted some other forms is sometimes I do want just a thinner brow and that the one that has the shaper, it's kind of a waxier um, formula and sometimes I want more of a powdery formula. So that was actually good things to get. Then I saw this when I was looking at the new things on the Ulta website. So I ran in there and got it. I got a small one. I think it was like 14 or 22 or something. So I just grabbed a small one, but it's the Fluff Up Brow Wax. And if you like the Refi Brow Pomade or the Too Faced, it's kind of like that. I have it on today. Let me look here in the, I can feel it in there. And it's not too heavy at all. So matter of fact, if you have tried those two and it left like too much white stuff in there and it was just too goopy for you, you may love this one because it gives you the same hold and look, but not the goopiness. Matter of fact, I was glad I got this smaller one because it might run out a little faster, but I would rather love it from the beginning, use it up and get another one. Okay, so I did a Sephora order this week and I used my fragrance coupon, the 20% off that I told you about in my favorite fragrances from Sephora. I will put that video right up here if you missed it. It's a good one. I really had some good ones in there. And a lot of you really like the Replica Jazz Club. So I decided to try it. It's 
I would say, I had someone say not to use the word vibey when I describe things. So I thought I would tell you what I mean when I say a fragrance is kind of vibey because fragrances, just like everything else, different things come in and out of style. Well, what's kind of, I think to me what vibey means is kind of like what's in, what's happening, what's the most popular thing, uh, what the cool kids like, things like that. That's what I think. And today, what that is, is more of a boyfriend scent. And like the jazz club, I believe has like vanilla, bourbon, and even tobacco. It's supposed to be like being in a jazz club. I would say it's a very vibey scent. It's not pretty. It's not, I guess sexy is so, um, it's such an opinion or subjective. I would say sexy. I would. Okay. It smells like this faux fur looks. It is, and I haven't even sprayed it, so... I love it. Okay, so it's definitely got some vanilla, the vanilla, bourbon, and tobacco in it. It's kind of like, it's not oody. It's more, it's actually a very smooth one for this type of scent. There's nothing in here that is um, strong or a little different. A lot of these have something quirky in them, and it, it'll be like an oud or something like that. This one is very, um, for lack of a better word, basic. Basic vibey. Oh, that is good. That is good. Provenance and period, Brooklyn, 2013. Fragrance description, heady cocktails and cigars. Okay, you already know I love the smell. I always describe it as there's a man smoking a cigar down the street or a few doors down. That's kind of what I mean. But this is not strong in that way. It's just so good. Very sexy, I think. This one, oh my goodness. I wore this yesterday or day before yesterday. It was one of those mornings. I put this on. It's the new Nest Balinese Coconut Perfume Oil. And even the big ones come with a dropper. So I recommend just getting the rollerball. I'm typically not a rollerball girl. I would rather have a spray because I like to spray and walk through. That way it kind of just you know, doesn't get in one spot. But this I put on my arm and I'm gonna do it anyway because no matter what I put on, it lasted all day long. I could not believe it. I don't think I've ever had a, an oil or anything like this last that long. And it is, oh my gosh, it gives me just butterflies. It is so summery. It is like a deeper, summery scent. It, this is quintessential summer scent you wear in the winter because it's coconut, but it's not sunscreeny at all. Oh my gosh, you guys, it gives me butterflies. But what, what does it remind me of? It must have like a tiara flower or something in it. Oh my goodness, it is very fabulous. You have to try it, you have to. It's, I don't think it's that expensive, especially the rollerball. And it is just, it's vibey, coconutty. It's got a, I would say it's got to have some kind of amber or vanilla in it somewhere. And it is just beautiful. I think you will love it if you like coconut. I know that's one of those things you either like or you don't like, but it is so good. It is so good. It is the perfect, summer scent for the winter, but I'm gonna be wearing this sucker all summer too. It is so good. These are some fragrances from Celine. I was watching Arielle's channel and she, we shopped for two days and then my flight left the third day at 11, but she was driving. So she went back and did some more shopping and she ended up getting a new Celine bag. It is gorgeous. I do, I love those bags, maybe one day. And she got some fragrances. And when she was describing them, it sounded like something I would like. She got Parade or Parade. And then I ordered Night Clubbing because I ordered these from the websites. And they were not as expensive as you would think a Celine fragrance is. So this is the Parade. I would say, now right off hand, I don't know the notes. This is 
Okay. This is the kind, if you like any of the Juicy Coutures, if you like the Prada Paradox, if you like, it's not, it's, it's not deep, but it's not fresh or citrusy either. It is just kind of right in between and very pretty. Beautiful woman, you know, like not, I would still say it's sexy, but in more of a fun way. It is just beautiful. The first morning I took them upstairs because I like to smell them at my desk and just kind of do some other things and then play with them. And I sprayed this in the box and I could smell it all day and it just was beautiful. I got night clubbing and I think this is more of a vibey scent. I think it had more of the Yes, this is a deeper, okay, this may, it's hard now because I've smelled all of these. Okay, this has something um, a little, this is more niche smelling. Okay, and a lot of people say I can't, that you can't describe a fragrance with the word niche because niche just means small, it's usually a small company that just does fragrance, but when you get into fragrances, the niche fragrances are a little different. They're not as mainstream to me. That's what I have found. So that's what I mean. It's a little quirkier. I'm trying to think there's something in it. I'll put it right here. There's something in it that makes it kind of unique. I would definitely say the Jazz Club is more mainstream, and I would feel better about you getting that. But I love the, um, I keep wanting to call it Paradox. Parade or parade. And then this is what, this is especially what I wanted to tell you. When you order from the Celine website, they sent samples. So they sent a sample of La, I'm not gonna even try to pronounce that. And then they sent samples of the night clubbing and the parade, probably because a lot of times the high-end places will send you a sample. Ooh, Louis Vuitton usually does this of the scent that you ordered so that you can try the scent you ordered before you open the box in case you need to return it. So I don't know if that was the premise behind that or if they're just that generous. Okay, so now let's get into, you know what, let's just, let's just go on with fragrances. I can't lie, the going out of town always gets me into fragrances because I get to experience new things that I don't get to here in town. So that always kind of awakens my fragrance love. And then doing that collaboration with Sephora where I told you all of my favorites, that kind of got me going too. And it made me wonder, you know, what was new out there? So I ordered this from Ulta. It's the new Ariana Grande fragrance. Now she is known for, what is that one cloud? Because it smells very, very, very similar to Baccarat 540. And I've actually um, tried some of her other ones. I always think to myself, maybe she will realize that her fragrances are being taken a lot more serious than she may have thought. And most people, like when I was watching the big fragrance people, a lot of them wouldn't even keep it because the bottle was so ugly and it didn't go with the other fragrances. Or they would keep it put away or they would use it with the cap off or something like that. So I was thinking, okay, maybe she'll start making some really pretty bottles to, you know, be able to market herself better. It didn't happen. This is the new ones. Now, I will be honest, I've gotten so many other things that I love that I have not even opened or smelled these. So this is the Ariana Grande Mod Vanilla and Ariana Grande Mod Blush. I had Mod Blush in my cart before I realized you could get both of these. Oh, it's gonna get on me. I hope I like it. Okay. Okay, this is, mm, this isn't for me. This is fresh, fresh and, okay, it's not vibey, it's not warm. It's uh, almost summery. Mm, it, this just isn't for me. Okay, let me smell this one. Okay, this one's more me. This must be the vanilla. 
Let me, let me look up what's in this one. Mod Vanilla gets 4.3 stars and um, Dark Plum and Musk. I love musk. I do. A touch of gourmand is heightened to sophisticated level with the Orion Praline. Vanilla, Absolute, and Cocoa unveil its unforgettable signature. Okay, so this one's more of a gourmand. Vanilla, plum, and musk. Okay, that is a good one. So let's look at the Mod Blush. And I will be able to tell you exactly what it is that I do not like. It's fun when you really... I know, you know, not everybody's going to get into it. This one gets 4.5, but it's fun realizing what you do and don't like. A blend of bergamot and passion fruit for all of the, okay, that's it. Dewy rose and magnolia with a touch of pear. Create breathtaking evolution on the skin. Ambrox and musk leave it intimately luxurious impression. Okay, the ambrox and the musk are going to help it stay. That's going to be your base notes, but I don't like the top notes. Bergamot and passion fruit. Uh, dewy rose and magnolia it's fresh and floral and that's not what i like okay this is something funny i think i've told you ever since i had the virus i have been sleeping with a sleep mask i don't know why i've never done that in the past but i was sleeping so much and my i do have very sensitive eyes and so i just got used to it and i love it so now when it's time for me to go to bed i will put my sleep mask on john laughs at me and I'll go to sleep. When I was sick, I actually just used a Barefoot Dream sock. So my friend Michael told me about a weighted sleep mask and it was out of stock, but I had already, I think I had already ordered this from Nordstrom. It's the Nod Pod, the weighted blanket for your eyes. Gentle pressure, better sleep. And it is so good. I don't know what could be so great about this thing. And I'm sure there's some of you out there. What, what is this? Hmm, okay, let me read something real quick. Okay, it was saying, wear freely or use, lay freely or secure with pull through slit, no Velcro or straps, micro beads contour to your eyes for light blocking hug, Jersey cotton cool side flip for warm micro fleece, scent free machine washable i uh, very classically did not read all that i have just been using it like this on my eyes and it it lights out my pillow and everything else i got going in there my hand creams and my socks and my heel creams i am ready when i get to this i think i've been using the cooler side but there is something too like that little bit of weight but if you're someone who likes it the whole night and you like to roll around with yours, it's not, pro unless you figure out, I mean, am I supposed to put all of this? Okay, maybe you just put a little bit in here. Somebody might need to help me in what they're talking about there. I cannot imagine doing that every night and pulling that tight. Okay, but what I was gonna say is it does fall off, but that's okay with me because I am not someone who keeps mine on the whole night anyway. When I wake up, it's always around my neck, on the floor, or in the bed somewhere. So I love it. I think it just helps me go to sleep. And I usually wake up before the sun rises anyway. So loving, loving that. Silly that I got, but I thought there's some of you out there that might be silly like me. I got, at the Like to Know It conference, I had gotten a little box of matches. I can't even remember why they would give, oh, they gave us a candle. And I had them just in a box and I decided, well, I'll go ahead and use them. Well, I have so enjoyed using a match to light my candles and just that, it sounds funny, but just that scent of the match being blown out with the candle, I just like it. So I wanted some good, like funky matches to put with my candles in different places. So I ordered these from Amazon. The first one is this really cool one, the Monstera. You guys know, the Monstera is my favorite plant. I love my Monsteras, they're my babies. And so I grabbed this one. I'm actually going to put this in with Brooke's Christmas stuff because, you know, my kids are at the age where they want money, but I still like to get them a few things. And she always loves my Monstera, but I think she's scared that she can't handle it or something. So I'm gonna get her one. I've got to go out today and get it. So I'm gonna give her that. 
And then I grabbed these. I looked up tiger matches. Look at these. So this one, it's like all different assortments. It kind of reminds me of, and this is funny, it reminds me of, do you guys remember the original animal cookies that were in that like train box? That's what it reminds me of. I mean, look at this one. So pretty. So anyway, I will link those down below. And there were all kinds of things like butterflies, anything you can imagine. And I just thought they were cool. We're nearing something that I'm upset. I had another package that I wanted to show you, but I'm just gonna have to link it and I'm just gonna have to show you later. Let me make sure it's not on my porch somehow. Okay, no mail yet. When we were in DC or outside of DC shopping, we went into not a sunglass hut, but the other one. I can't remember the name. I don't have one here. And we were trying on sunglasses with this guy and I tried on a pair of Tom Ford sunglasses and I loved them but they just weren't perfect and they were very expensive. And I looked at the arm and you know, all of Tom Ford's sunglasses are like girls' names. And I saw L, E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And so I thought, I'm just gonna look on Saks Hall Fifth, Nordstrom Rack. It is just so hard for me to pay that now that I've gotten so many good sunglasses for so much cheaper. So I got home, I looked, you know, everywhere and I didn't see them anywhere, and I thought to myself, I would love those, especially if they were in black, because my favorite sunglasses of all times are those ones that I hope you guys got. They're the Key Still Rich from the Paris Hilton collection, and they don't sell them anymore. So I thought I would love the black ones. Well, I found them, but they were not on sale. These are from Nordstrom, and I just went ahead and sucked it up and paid it because I knew I just knew I was gonna love them. So these are the Tom Ford L sunglasses. They're not the kind you can put in your hair because they do have the nose pieces, but that to me makes them even more comfortable. So these are the Tom Ford L sunglasses. So I was looking for something else on Saks Off Fifth and something made me go to the Tom Ford sunglasses. I might've thought about it, but I found them. I found them. They didn't have the black ones, but they have the other ones, and they are like, I don't even know. It, I think I got them for, I don't know, 200 or 100 and some dollars, and then I got some more off of that. And they're supposed to be here anytime, but I will link those down below, and I'll be honest, they may have two pair left. They may have one pair left, because when they get to those websites, it's because you know, there's just a few pair left in the store. And the reason it didn't come up when I looked them up is they don't list the names on Saks Off Fifth. I think it just said something like Square Gradient Tom Ford or something like that. So that's how I missed it. So I'm hoping that you guys, if you like these, will go get those before they're gone because they are fabulous, fabulous. Um, I always like to kind of tell you about everything that I showed you the week before. Okay, so let's start with the YSL belt bag. I mean, this thing is built. I mean, this is a bag that you will have until the end of time. It is such a thick, nice leather. It's beautiful. I mean, it's it's beautiful in every way, like the craftsmanship and everything. I've, it's actually been a good week for me to try it because I have been doing some shopping. I've got everything done basically. Today's going to be that day where I just get things, my last minute things. It's perfect for what it is, but it is a belt bag or if you prefer, I mean, I got so many mixed comments on that. Some of you are like me and you love wearing it as a belt bag. Some of you are gonna wear it more crossbody like I did. And oh, and I've enjoyed that Walmart, that big Walmart coat, but that sucker is hot. I don't know if it's ever gonna be cold enough here that I can go in and out of stores with that coat on because I burnt up and going to the bathroom with that big coat on. I have so much respect for you guys that live in places that you have to dress like that. And that was, I mean, I didn't even have on just I had on a sweater and a coat, but I'm just not used to that. So that coat is great, but it is warm and it's just polyester. Okay, so there's that. And I had this on 
and I love it. Like when I'm shopping, oh, it's so easy and everything, but if I'm just using it as a bag in my front seat, it's not my favorite because I don't know. It's, it's just not as easy to work out of. And then the other day, I was just telling John this this morning, I went to get out of the car, grabbed my bag. I'm not used to making sure that my bag is closed. Grabbed the bag, flung it out of the car, you know, to get out. My blankety blank stuff went everywhere. And guess where it went? It went right behind a woman in her car backing out. So I was like, I, I looked at her and she didn't look like she was ready. So I just went over there real quick because it was like my wallet and all of my stuff and got it up real quick. But that kind of told me this might not be an everyday bag for me. This is going to be a great traveling bag and, you know, maybe shopping all day bag, something like that. So that is how I feel about this. But, oh my gosh, I, when I love it, I love it. These beauties, these are some good shoes. And if you're high heel connoisseurs, I'm going to tell you what makes them so good. Sometimes when you get a high heel with a long pointed toe like this, it's a little bit difficult to walk. Even in like some of my Sam Edelman, like the, um, the flatter one, the mules that I have, you know, this is so long and pointed that it just, for some reason, it's, you have to pay attention, pick up your foot. These are not like that. They're just so like bendy and your foot, because this is kind of thin or something, your foot goes like way down in them and they are just so comfortable, extremely comfortable, easy to walk in. Um, just those kind of heels you can just really walk in, not the kind of heels that you have to kind of pay attention to how you're walking. So no regrets on these. If you can ever find these on sale, snatch them up. They are a little bit small, so you have to size up half a size, but so good. Oh, and you'll see when I show you the next few things, how good they look with pants. Okay, these sexiest sneakers on the planet. These just look so good on everyone. So many of you got these and you love them. And I got a, I was doing some work last night and I got an email that what I was looking at was back in stock. Well, it was where I had found this on the website to link for you guys. And I had looked earlier in the day, one of you said that they were sold out on Instagram and most of the good sizes were sold out. But when I looked last night, they had restocked some sizes. So if you were trying to get these, get them. I got them as gifts for several people. I don't want to say who, and they're just amazing. They're so light. They're just like the perfect little silhouette and I'm gonna wear them today, actually. So that is just winner, winner, chicken dinner, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna show you three pair of pants. They're all Spanx. I ordered them from the Spanx website when they were offering, I think 30% off. I figured it's now or never. And I love the ones that I got and I'll put a picture up here that I wore in DC shopping the Kick Perfect Pant. And I've worn them again too. I might've worn them shopping the other day, I'm not sure, but love those. And I size up, I sized up to a medium and I'm glad I did. But if you truly want Spanx and you're wanting that compression, I would say go with your size or size up. I don't know, I'll just let you decide on that one. I'll just tell you, I wear a medium. Another thing I like about these shoes is they're easy to put on, like they open up real good. Okay, so these are the Booty Boost. They've got them in leggings, and then they've got them in, let me get my tag here. Okay, these are the Booty Boost Collection, rear sculpting fabric and contoured waistband for the best butt ever. And these are the Booty Boost Yoga Pants. You can get them in the like legging and you can, I think, I think just the leggings, maybe some shorts or something like that, but I love a yoga pant. And I love them, I love them. I love the fabric that they're made out of. 
I would say these are wear to work, you can dress up type yoga pants because the fabric is the type that's not going to fade and looks really good. I think it's this seam that's very, very flattering and that seam that's very flattering. And you guys know, I really don't have a booty. I mean, that's okay with me though. So these do help and I will tell you right off the bat what it is. They have some kind of, um, like right when you put them on, you'll feel like right here is just a little bit tighter on both legs. So what it's doing, you know how I always say that when you compress your stuff, your jump, it's got to go somewhere. So what they're doing is, I think they're making this part look slim and busting it out right here. Perfect pant jogger. And these are fabulous. These are like jogger dress pants. You could wear these just dressed up major. These are definitely ones that you will not feel bad. Like you will not feel like you're too bummed out to go anywhere in these. They just fit so good and I love them. They've got a good like elastic -y waistband in the back, but yet the front is flat like that. Just really good pants. And okay, I got a small in these. Okay, so I must have I must have read the reviews. Okay, so in the booty boost yoga pant, I got the medium, but in these I got the small, and I'm glad I did, or they would not look probably as dressy as they do, but I love them, love them. Then I got these. These are the Flare Jeans Midnight Shade, and I got the medium regular. These come in, I think, several different lengths, but I know that if I do wear jeans like this, it's going to be with a heel because I just don't even like how they look otherwise. So I wore, tried them on for you with those ragged bone heels and I love them. Just really nice and I can't wait to style them up for you and you know do some good outfits of the day and all of that stuff. Okay, so for my jewelry, I have on Jenny Bird. If you missed my jewelry, styling video. I will put it up here. <clears throat> she sent me a few things and then I showed some of my pieces, some really pretty stuff. And I've got on two rings that my parents gave me. This was my grandmother's and then that is a, I can't remember, is that a, is that an emerald with diamonds? I can't remember if it's an emerald or another green stone. I think my parents got this for me last Christmas and I just, I like rings like this with the faux fur. I think they kind of go with it. They're vibey. <laughs> and then the earrings I have on are new ones from Jenny Bird. So good. I love the way her backs are so pretty and easy to put on. And that's what they look like. They, they kind of look like these rings. You know what I mean? They kind of look like you could have had these in the 60s or 70s. They just have that style. And I love... I love the chunkiness, the boldness of her jewelry, but yet it's still real polished. That's my favorite. And then bubble bath on my nails, fragrance everywhere. It's like a big cloud around me. And that is it. So I'm not gonna see you guys until after Christmas. I want to give you a big hug from me. I want to tell you how much your being here, your support, just, Everything is such a gift to me. It is a gift in my life. It is a purpose that I love and I am just so blessed that you're here and I mean it. I love you and I hope you have the merriest Christmas and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.